This is just a little introduction to A-level religious studies in the hope that some of you may choose to study it here at St Thomas More. In A-level religious studies, there are three components, philosophy, ethics and New Testament. They are very different to what you've studied before and they are very new and unlike the GCSE course. In philosophy, we look at issues such as there are God or arguments people have for why there's a God, whether things like religious experiences are valid and whether they prove God existence. We look at whether an, a God would actually create evil, why is there evil in our world, to things like what is a soul and what happens when people die. Ethics is new as well, and it's looking at what is right and wrong, what is good. Should it be happiness or love which help us decide what is wrong or should it be something else? Are there objective moral truths that we should all follow? And then we look at issues surrounding the following topics, war, the environment, sex, equality and medical issues. And finally, we study a unit on the New Testament. We look at what was the world that Jesus lived in like. Uh, we look at different parts of the New Testament, such as the birth narratives or the prologue or the Messiah and the miracles. And we look at whether these are important and how they are important today. We also look at some of the titles and we look at things, topics like such as why did Jesus have to die and what are his ethics? At the end of year 13, there will be three two hour exams on each of those elements. They're all weighted absolutely equally and they form your final grade. The exam papers all follow the same structure and in each paper there are five styles of questions ranging from an eight marker to a 30 marker, which essentially requires you to show your knowledge whilst evaluating its effectiveness. There's also an infology booklet which we work through during the course and one of the exam questions in each paper will be asked to look at the extract given and comment and explain on it. So why study it? We're in a rapidly changing world. It helps you to evaluate rights and wrongs. It helps you think about the important things in life. It helps to explain what people believe and why, and it nurtures a value and respect for others. Why else? Why would we study REA level to hopefully get to a career or a university? And these are some, some of the careers that it might lead to. There are many variety of things that it can. It's also a subject that really provides you for university. It's a facilitating subject. The top universities, Oxford, Cambridge and the Russell Group, really see it as on their top list of generally suitable A-levels. Applicants with religious studies have generally gained admission to subjects such as history um, at the top universities and even in maths. 20% of students admitted to maths at Oxford University had religious studies. So one of the top universities in the country, even Durham, examined the difficulty levels of a variety of subjects and declared that RS was in the middle difficulty range and therefore suitable to prepare students to demand your university. Why else should I study it? Well, it's very compatible with certain subjects that use familiar skills, such as history, English and politics. It's also very useful if you want to have any of the following at university. OK, so those types of ideas. However, a lot of people study it also if they're going to do the sciences or maths as something that's slightly different and it requires different skills, so it's developing the whole person. Department results. Last year, the department results were um, as following, two A stars, one A, one B and three Cs. The department consistently has students achieving the top grades and many of our students go on to um, study religious studies or philosophy at university. Finally, if you had to sum up religious studies A-level in three words, I asked students and teachers um, from the school and other schools, how would they sum up this A-level? And they said, challenging, argumentative and interesting, objective, rigorous and stimulating, engaging, unexpectedness and rewarding, harder than anticipated, exhilarating, exhausting and enlightening, actually quite tricky, stimulating, thought-provoking, understanding, brings tolerance, needed for life, food for thought and watching minds fried. Hopefully there'll be another video in a few minutes where my year 13s might talk to you a little bit about why they like this A-level. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to come and see me and ask me um, and I will happily try and answer them to the best of my ability. Forward to seeing you. Thanks very much.